Hi guys, my name's Wood. It's been a little while, but I'm here to bring you this week in LaunchBox News. I usually record these things in the morning and I'm recording it now at 9 o'clock at night and I feel really out of it. I had to go to work today. I usually don't film on the days that I work. I also just got back from a trip and I'm just completely out of it and I, I just had a seizure and had concussion for a few days so... You know. Let's just do it. Let's just see how terrible it is. So this week we've been working closely with the community, that's you guys and probably other guys, to develop the plugin system. So there are, I've got five plugins from the community that I kind of wanted to go over and demonstrate a little bit. So you guys and the before mentioned other guys have been going to town creating and developing plugins. Jason did a live stream and the link for that will be in the description where he demonstrated a lot of these plugins. We've seen plugins from, let me try and get a bunch of names right. We've seen plugins from Eat, Kinoa, Gorilla, who we know and love around these parts, Super Furry, SRXZ, P Davis, Slip System, and there are plugins in the works from even more folks. Folks, folks. I've always, that word's always, I've always struggled to say that word. Like, Nil K1. We already have plugins available for things like scrapping YouTube for videos, watching movies, flash games, controls for Big Box, and even for a Bible scripture plugin. Okay. All the community plugins are really early in development as it has only been a week, but it, with how crazy it's been already, there's no telling how big this thing is gonna get. But if the last week has any indication of it, Probably pretty big. So obviously a huge thank you to everyone that's been working on these plugins and anyone that might work on them in the future and create and develop and, and help build what is LaunchBox. Thank you to you guys and the other guys. <laughs> I don't know who these other guys are, but thank you to everyone that's been helping out on this and everyone that helps out in general, making the themes, making the startup videos, making everything. Just crazy it blows my mind and if you are a developer making some of these plugins and you need some support make sure to hit up Jason via a PM on the website and it will help you out I don't know why I struggled to say that leave me alone I just had a seizure like seriously guys give me a break forums is what I meant to say for not hit him up on the forums concussion brain that's gonna be my excuse from now on for the rest of YouTube. Whenever I make a mistake, I'll just blame the concussion I had the one time. And we're gonna focus on these plugins and the community building these plugins as we go forward because we're seeing such an awesome progress on it and we definitely wanna help encourage that. Help encourage the community and enable them to continue to grow and build and create whatever they want. So one last time, if you wanna check out any of that, link in the description. Thank you, seriously. ETA Prime has a new tutorial video up this week. It'll help you figure out how to auto start LaunchBox or BigBox when Windows starts. If you don't know how to do that, make sure to click that link in the description and ETA Prime will teach you. It's pretty straightforward. That's it for this week, short and sweet, probably because of, you know, the seizure thing. Jason keeping it short for me this week. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out everything I talked about in the description down below. And I did, for those of you that don't have no idea what I'm talking about, I haven't even spoke about this on my channel yet. In fact, I haven't made a video for my channel in a few weeks now because I was in Texas and I came back and I was really dehydrated and I passed out and hit my head. And apparently, I don't remember, but had a little bit of a seizure thing. So I've been out <laughs> for a while. But um, this is my first video that I've made in a very, very long time, which is probably why I'm feeling so weird about it. Plus, it's super warm in here, and it's 9.30 at night now. Good to be back.